Want to be the MVP in your project team? You know, the person everyone wants to be, has all the knowledge and an unnatural ability to do the right things when everyone else is caught up in a sea of confusion and meaningless tasks? Then start by doing this one key activity. A scarily high percentage of businesses are burning huge amounts of their project budget and resources trying to implement solutions, but are failing repeatedly. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to avoid this by delivering simple and effective process models, which will give you the fundamental insights into your business, allowing you to focus only on priorities and turn your projects into success stories. Hi, my name is Colin Parsons, and I unexpectedly went from being a business analyst to a process modeler overnight, and it completely changed my perspective on how successful projects need to be run. Eight years ago, after being disillusioned with failing projects, I was offered the opportunity of completing a short-term assignment in a newly formed process modeling team. Skeptical at first, I thought process models were more a tick-the-box exercise and added no real value, but I could not have been more wrong. Immediately it hit me just how fundamental process modeling must be to the success of a project and the wealth of insight and knowledge it brings to that project. So what had I been missing up until this point? Well, typically people approach process models from either a manual process perspective or a system functional perspective. Rarely are people able to successfully combine the two. This is a big mistake because it's like seeing half the world and you're only focusing on one part so you miss that complete picture. Now, there is a way to combine these two but it's rarely done and even when people try they often miss the mark. They either don't have the right training or the time necessary to develop an effective process model. They rush in, often working within tight deadlines and end up with an inadequate process model that ultimately ends up in the bin. Look, Process models aren't supposed to be buried in a requirements document. It's a living, breathing thing. And once you learn how to do this properly, it consistently delivers the foundation that everything in your project will be based upon, giving you things like the end state vision, clarity over scope, and helps guide and navigate around those obstacles. All the things that projects struggle with until it's too late. It became clear to me that this processing model approach was so valuable, but so overlooked. But the strange thing for me was that it was actually very simple to create. Just by following some simple principles, you could create a framework to build these models. But again, most people don't do this because they just don't know how to do it. So if you want to stop being stuck in this endless cycle of negativity and project chaos, where you're constantly struggling to even get the simplest aspects of the project agreed, such as terminology and scope. Instead, you want to start to focus on implementing dream solutions that make huge impacts on your business and clients, then join me on the training session that is currently running. If you don't have a process model framework in place or don't know where to begin, I go into a lot more detail in that, my additional free training session. And you can start feeling good about the work you're doing every day and make your mark in the world. Stop waiting for your project to be cancelled so you can just move on to the next failing project. Instead, start making better decisions and following a different path and create something unique that brings massive value to you and your projects. So click the link below to register. You never know, it could change the trajectory of your career.